darker actually. Yeah. Are you here to show me the closest given landing grounds? Yeah. Alright. There's a guy that I'm supposed to meet. He'll take me from there. I can get you there. I can get you there. Alright. Hmm. Our guy should be here any minute. Oh, jeez! You looking for me? Yes, indeed. Joe Danger. Nice to meet you. Dr. Acum. Alright, now there's a couple of them up in these woods. I'm going to go show you them. Now, one thing, we're really lucky here on the Mentawi Islands in Indonesia. It's the only place that these animals, animals live. Now, they live up in the tops of these trees and rainforests. And they got real long thing, real long thumbs and toes and they have webbing in beneath them. Makes it easy to grab on the trees and swing around from tree to tree because branching as you tell them move, they're like... Woo! Woo! Just like that. And uh, communication-wise, they have these little throat sacks. There's one right here. They have these little throat sacks and they make all this noise. Right up there, see? They make all this noise uh, for like all their calls and uh, mating and stuff, and just communicating all around. That, that's what it sounds like. That's that's a female. The more high pitch is a female, the lower is a male. And um, you know, you know, you see, they don't really have any claws or sharp teeth. They just eat little uh, fruit and some insects and arthropods and berries out of trees and stuff, just like that. You see? Now, come on, let's let's get out. We don't want to bother it. We'll go look for some more. That's pretty much a lot of the basics. Uh, they don't have, they have a good bit of predators, um, like big snakes and birds, but they, not that, not too many, not anything serious. Uh, that's not why they're endangered. They're endangered because of uh, deforestation, like logging, hunting, and the pet trade. People will snatch them up and they'll ship them in these little crates to people. I'm like, Christmas, I open up a box. Hey, look, Mom. Got a monkey. It's my pet. It's pretty much why they're going in danger. Why they're in danger. Uh, and that's about it. Oh, jeez. What are we gonna do? Uh, like a good neighbor, stay far was there. Hey, did you guys have an accident? Yeah, uh, uh, we sort of hit me. I'll take care. I mean, that was, that was really fast. Yeah, with well, Safe Farm, you get really good service all the time. Really? Well. That's awesome, thanks. No problem. Let me try one more thing. Like a good neighbor, State Farm was there with a sandwich. Are you kidding me? I just left, and now you want to... Here's your sandwich. I asked for a sandwich, not a wrap. I don't like your State Farm agent. He's not, he's not nice. Find out what else State Farm agents can do for you at yagent.com. All right. He's up in there. Last time we heard him, be in that general area. But see, I got my uh blowgun. Thing is, these are tranquilizer darts, and I'm gonna shoot him, bag him, and you're gonna start studying him while he's live. That way, information's better. You know, it's like TV's better when it's live. You know, like. All those award shows are better when they're live. Animals are better when they're live. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, animals are always better when they're live. That's the spirit. Now come on. We're gonna go right up in here. Where That's he him. That's a call of a predator, man. He'll rip your face off. Actually, they're mostly other birds. If anything, they just eat two arthropods and eggs. So you're telling me that it's not gonna kill me? No. Then why'd you need me, baby? Now, get ready to do some running in case it takes off. These things are, uh, these things are pretty fast. They live in trees, so it's going to be swinging from branch to branch. Oh, my. Hold on, come here. Doesn't see us. You see this little black figure? Yep, I right see him now. That's him. That's the closest to getting. That's what we're after, man. Mm -hmm. Now, come on. Be very quiet. He's sleeping up in this tree. You see him? He's laying uh, right there. He's got my eyes on him. I'm gonna take the shot. 
Dang it, I missed. Hit right by his head. You see the branches going? All right, we're, we're chasing him. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Everything in the trying to kill me. He's got, a, he's got a way. All right, boys. It's teaching me one thing. These things are smart. We're going to have to regroup. We're going to have to think. We're going to have to use some traps, man. Thanks. There it is. Oh, God. He's just playing with us. He knows we can't catch him by shooting him. We're going to have to use some traps. I'm thinking snares. Let's go back to the main fort down in that pasture. We'll regroup and we'll be good to go. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh, geez. We can just record it and come back and watch it later. All right. Gosh, dang it! No more space to record. That's more annoying than. Hey, let's get some ice cream. All right, we got. Uh... Lemon, bliss, and cotton candy. Which flavor should we get? Uh, I'm not sure. We'll flip a coin for it. Alright, well, here's a quarter. Yes, heads will be lemon and tails is cotton candy. Sound good? Yeah. Alright. Gosh dang it! Which one is it? You know with DirecTV, you can film up to 12 hours more at a time. Really? That's more amazing than anything's possible. Yeah! <gasps> <gasps> Record five shows at once with a new Direct TV Genie. Call 1 800 Direct TV. Alright, we've learned this thing's smart and it's fast. So we ain't gonna run him down. We're gonna have to trap him. I'm thinking we use some wire. We set up a snare. What you do is you just get it like this. You set it with some food. And the animal's gonna come up to eat it, and you're gonna be like, Oh, food! I'm, I'm finally getting the heat! And, and he's gonna start trying to walk away, but it's gonna tighten the trap in there. Now, it's perfectly safe. It ain't gonna hurt him. You sure it won't strangle him? I'm sure. I mean, the only way to strangle him is if we left, left him there, like, for an hour. We're only gonna leave him there a couple minutes, because we're gonna be watching. But to set, him, set it up, I'm gonna have to wear all this camouflage. Oh, you can see me. You see him? You see him back there? Yeah, I see him. Okay. All right, stand up, act normal. Don't let him know that we know he's here. We gotta make him feel like we're the dominant animal that that won't destroy him. So I'm thinking, start flexing. All right. Start flexing. And now I'm just gonna take my shirt off and and he's going Oh, there he goes. Yep. He's gone. Yeah, he scared me. That's right. Now that he knows we're the dominant animal. I can go set the trap. Whoa, watch what we're doing with that thing, man. Now, come with me. You gotta be very quiet. We don't want him to know that we've been there and that we've set the trap. Right. So come on. We're gonna use our stealth skills. There's one right there. Now, gotta be real quiet. He's sleeping. Now, before we uh, take him down with these tranquilizer darts and just sort of stun him, I'm just gonna tell you a bit about him. He's Kingdom Animalia. Uh, he's Phylum Chordata, Class Mammalia, the Order of Primates. And now, you see, thing with the throat sacs. We're not quite sure what it's all about, like how he uses them, but researchers have been done, and normally the sexes sing at different times the male before sunrise, the female after sunrise. And there's a time where sometimes they'll sing at the same, right at sunrise, both sexes at the same time. Well, there's been nothing proven to show, uh, to show like if they sing in duets or if it's connected mating-wise. But uh, well, oh, shh, shh, he's losing. Now, scientists who did this uh, research, they came out every morning, every night, every day, when it was windy, when it was cold, when it was raining. And uh, the females sang most of the time, besides when it was raining. And the males sang only when it was just perfect conditions. So, that's just something you might want to know, but uh, it's about time we take the thing, this thing down, don't you say? Yeah.
Yep. We got him. Come on. Let's get him. Oh, he's about to fall asleep. We got him. All right. My man. Got him. Right here. Now. Thank you. Pleasure getting to know you, Dr. Acula. I'm glad we finally got to catch this little thing. I've been hunting for years. I've been, man, I've wanted one of these on my mantle for a long time. But I'm going to let you have them to research them. As much as that saddens me. But I appreciate it. Use them for good. Teach the world about these great animals. See you later. See you I'm later, Joe Danger. <laughs>